are here with Sean Gunn, a.k.a. Craglin. Yes, that's me, Craglin. <laughs> and Rocket on set. I was about to say, also yeah, yeah. doing mocap for Rocket. I did, yeah. So that was actually a, uh, a pretty substantial job for this movie. Rocket's got a lot of, uh, he's got a lot to do in Endgame. Yeah. It's got a lot of work, yeah. Well, and it's really amazing a lot, of for particularly for fans of Rocket, because I'm a huge Rocket fan. You know, how, what does it take to embody Rocket on set? Well, I think that you have to know where Rocket is coming from. And Rocket is, he's a, he's a, a bit of a little jerk, you know? <laughs> and uh, But he, he was torn apart, put together by scientists, there's nothing in the universe like him. It's, he's not from a planet of other beings like him. Yeah. He was genetically engineered. He's a very, very lonely and alone character. He lashes out, but God bless him. He's got a heart of gold at the end of the day. And yeah. I, uh, yeah. I, I kind of always wondered if maybe he and Nebula bonded over that because they are such unique, distinct characters in that way. I, I, I like that question. And let's discuss that further next time I see you because in this movie we'll see that Rocket and... Uh, Nebula have some more stuff together that we haven't seen, so we'll see.